Good evening. Hello, guys. Good evening. How are you? Hey, what's up, Luis Ernesto? How are you tonight? Hello, good evening. I'm fine. How's the weather? It's raining in my house. It's raining, it's raining. right? Yes, but it's not much. Uh, one hour ago, it's uh, heavy. It was heavy it's one raining. hour ago. Yes, it's crazy. I, I really don't know how, how I made it on time. I really don't know how I made it on time, really. That was crazy. It's too much traffic. I left the, the academy at 7.30. And that's in La Escalon and I live in Miral Valle. And just picture it. That, that was really crazy. Yes. Yes, I was watching the, the Twitter and uh, there was a report. There were reports for the, the heavy traffic and uh, some uh, street was uh, fluids. You know, that's, Fluids, fluids. That's right. Yeah. There were fluids everywhere. Fluids. Something like... Yeah, mm -hmm. everywhere in 49th Avenue, everywhere. Okay, let me just remind everybody that we have already uh, started. Yeah. Okay, guys, remember the first five minutes are yours. Go ahead, have a conversation, say hello. Okay, come on guys, break the ice. Señores, ¿por qué es tan difícil hablar con alguien con quien nunca has hablado? Ese es el punto ahorita, intentar hablar con alguien con quien nunca has hablado, come on. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me what we talked about yesterday? What did we talk about yesterday? The strategy is for to avoid the, the, the decline of the product decline. Not to not to avoid it, but no, it's to handle. To handle. The decline stage. What do you remember? Uh, innovation. Uh, Co-branding. Co-branding. Okay. Brandon. Okay, did we miss anybody? Were we missing anybody? No, no, right? Everybody talked about each part. So low prices, lower the prices as much as possible. Because you can you can you go up on the price if you already saturated the market? No. Why? Uh, because you said um I don't know, an offer for the demand. Nobody's going to, to pay, uh, you say lower or a higher price? Higher, a higher price. Nobody's going to pay. Then, nobody's going to Nobody uh, wants to, to, to pay a, a higher price than the, is in the market. No one in the market. OK. Nobody's going to pay. Nobody's going to pay. They would rather, they would rather buy another product similar than yours, right? Yeah. What else would customer will customers rather do than buying an expensive dying product? 
I think uh, they will ready to try another product, another brand, and the same kind of product. They will go with the competitors. Yes. They will yes. rather, they will rather go with the competitors before yes. buying your product at a higher price. I got you. You got it. Okay, we're going to talk about that in just one minute. Let me do the attendance. Créanme que me siento impresionado de la manera en la que he manejado ahorita ese conejo. Estuvo de locos. Pero es como que la gente me ve en, el, en un carro de 1978 y dice, ¡Ey! Te va a dar chance. O quizás dicen, ¡Ay, pobrecito! <risa> I don't, know. I don't know. They feel pity. <laughs> sienten, um, sienten, ¿cómo se dice eso en español? They feel pity. They feel, um, oh my God, what's the word, guys? Compasión. Compasión. They feel compassion. That's right. Sienten lástima. They feel pity. <laughs> they see me rolling. Oh my God. And you have no idea. My my car has a bazooka, you know, and it goes like so it's like wow, right? <laughs> it's really small. Okay, guys, let's do the attendance before we jump into the topic. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Excellent. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. Bien. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Enríquez González. Yuri Vladimir Portillo. I'm sorry. Judy Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Yuri. Okay. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Bien. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Reyes Ángel. Thank you. What did I say? I'm sorry. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Thank you. Sorry, teacher. It's okay. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Okay. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irena, I'm sorry, Irene Azucena Cuellar, Cuellar Albanes. Present. Thank you. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Sorry. It's okay, Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, yo sé que está manejando, tenga cuidado, por favor. Ya Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy hey. Patricia Molina Duarte. Yes, teacher. Wendy me dijo que iba a estar acá, eh, solo escuchando, pero no la veo. Wendy, 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 okay. Good. Okay, guys. Bien, tengo un reto por ustedes, señores, y perdón es que se lo diga en español, pero necesito asegurarme de que todos ya alcanzamos cierto nivel. ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Vamos a ocupar una técnica súper eficiente. Eh, ya lo hemos hecho muchos. Juan Francisco, sí, aquí tengo su asistencia. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you're welcome, Juan. Ok, so, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Um, yo les envié al grupo de WhatsApp el listado de verbos. Ya está ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp, si no me equivoco, ¿verdad? Hoy que empezamos este módulo. ¿No envié los PDF? Sí. Ya. Ya, ahí 
Ok, fue lo primero que les envié. ¿Por qué es importante sí. tener los verbos en la mano? Ok, necesito que le hagas dos preguntas, tres preguntas a tu compañero, ok. Los voy a dividir en grupos pequeñísimos, ok. First question. How do you say, ok. La mayoría que estuvieron conmigo en módulos anteriores ya han hecho eso. Es un reto que le tienes que poner a tu compañero para ver si se acuerda. How do you say? Le dices el verbo en español. Ok, le dices el verbo en español. Ya le voy a dar un ejemplo. In English, of course. Ok, so esta es la primera pregunta. How do you say, let's see, Irene, how do you say cobrar in English? Sorry? Okay, everybody, how do you say cobrar in English? Charge. Charge, yeah. Okay. How do you say, uh, la palabra en español sería, how do you say factura in English? Bills. Bill. 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 Okay. Invoice is, is not a, a correct. Invoice is, is um, crypto fiscal, ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. More formal. Bill. Yeah. Okay. La última pregunta. How do you use it? ¿En qué sentido? En este momento, como estamos en intermedio 3, y es primera vez que vamos a hacer esto, lo estoy diciendo en español para que no, no perdamos mucho tiempo en esto y puedan ejercitarse de esta manera. How do you use it? Y le vas a decir el tiempo gramatical a tu compañero. El tiempo gramatical que quiero ocupar, que quieras que tu compañero ocupe. Ese es un reto aún mayor. Ya no es solamente recordar un verbo y una palabra, como se dice en inglés, sino ocuparlo según tiempo gramatical que ya hayas visto. So, help me. ¿Qué tiempos gramaticales has visto hasta ahora? Everybody, todos. Simple present. Ok, let me write it Simple down. Past. Simple present. Ajá. Uh -huh. Simple past. Present perfect. Present perfect. Uh, present continuous. Ooh, present continuous. Give me an example. We are watching the select soccer match. Oh, really? <laughs> are you? We are in class. <laughs> okay. Future. Whether it is going to or will, right? Future. What else? Uh, Let's continue. Let's continue. I'm talking to you. I was talking to you. I was watching the football match while I was in class. Correct. Okay, that's it. Is that it? Do you remember the previous module? Present. Uh oh. Perfect. Passive voice. Oh, no, teacher. Present perfect passive voice. Can somebody give me an example? Do you remember? I have been work, work there for 10 years. I have been. My... That is present perfect continuous. I don't think you have seen the present perfect continuous, Mike. Mike. The computer is... Wait, 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 Alexander, my computer... My computer has been used by me. Has been used. 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 That's it, my computer has been used. By me, by you, by her, by someone. Got it. That's present perfect uh, passive voice. Always has been. And then the past participle of the verb. Okay. And remember, it's an object first. First, you go with an object. What can you tell me about the rain? The rain has, has been, been fallen. Has been, has been fallen. Has been fallen down. Has been fallen down. Adjective. A lot. Strong. A strong. Okay, the rain has been falling down strong in San Salvador. Okay, let's do it. So, 
An example. How do you say lidiar in English? Deal with. Good. Deal with. Solo tengo un estudiante, señores. Come on. Deal with. Okay. How do you say economia in English? Economy. Good. I have two students, three students, four students. Okay. <laughs> Economy. Okay. How do you use it? Present perfect. How do you use it? Present perfect. Okay. You are talking about econ economy? Listen, deal with economy. It's easy. Present simple. Present simple. Someone. Come on, everybody. I take a shower. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, use the verb and the word, William. Oh. Deal with economy. Deal with economy. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't understand. Okay. Simple present. Simple present. Um, I take economics class. Mm, mm -mm. Berf, berf. I deal. So easy. Ah. I deal with my economy every single day. <laughs> every time they pay, let's say, I deal with my economy. Yes, every time they pay. Every time I get paid. I get paid. Okay. Bye. I deal with my economy every time I get paid. No, I did it right, right? Uh huh. I deal with my economy yeah. every time it, yeah. I get paid. Negative. I don't. I don't. I don't. Simple. I don't deal with my economy every time they pay. I, every time I get paid. The compliment is always the same. Oh, this is two words, okay. I don't deal with my, oh, I made, uh, I missed the, the verb, I'm sorry. I don't deal mm -hmm. with my economy every time I get paid. Question. Do I deal with my economy every time I get paid? Correct. Or do I? Do I do you with your economy? Uh-huh. You got it. That simple present. What if I tell you future? I will deal with my economy every time I get paid. Yeah, you move to Switzerland, you move to Sydney, Australia, right? I will. I will deal with my economy every time I get paid, man. I don't know. It's too expensive to live here. Got it? Okay, simple past. <laughs> When I was in New York, I used to deal for I dealt. I dealt with my economy every time I got paid. I got paid. I got paid. I didn't deal with my economy every time I got paid. Did I deal with my economy every time I got paid? You got it? You got it? Do you accept the challenge or no? Come on. Yes. Okay. Now remember, so yeah. how do you say verb? How do you say the word in Spanish? Okay, and now how do you use it? Give the give the sentence, okay? Any of the sentences, simple present, simple past. You can do it, guys. Let's just review this. We have 15 minutes to go for this activity. Make sure you participate, okay? Take advantage of this time. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello, Isela. Hello, good evening, guys. Good evening, Werner. Okay, um, the first question. How do you say, let me see. How do you say odiar in English? Uh, hate. 
I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. Um, now words. How do you say? I don't know. How do you say uh, billete in English? Billete? Mm -hmm. That's the word. It's, it's, simil it's similar with ticket? No. No, no money? No. Money? No. Money? No. No. Bill. Bill. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? We're losing connection. Yes. <laughs> it's okay, Isela. Are you driving? Be careful. Be careful. Yeah, I yeah, I'm, I'm in the supermarket. Again? Do you go every day to the supermarket? Okay. Now maybe. No? Okay, how do you say billet in English, guys? Bill. 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 Yeah, Bill. You also say paper. Some yes. some some gringos say paper. Bill. Uh, Bill. Uh, Bill. 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 The, uh, the, uh, bills no es como para pagar. Uh, uh, you can say a five dollars bill. Un billete de cinco dólares, a five dollars bill. bill. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what's the verb? Uh, uh, build when expand. Spend. Okay. Spend. Bill. Spend. Bill. What is the grammar tense? Uh, Future? Simple future? Who is going to answer? <laughs> Stop watching the game. Who is going to answer? Uh, Miguel, Miguel. Ah, that reason he's not paying yeah, attention distracted is it oh yeah you got it okay spend and it's slow motion spend, slow motion. Uh, spend the verb future spend, bill In future. future okay i will i will I will spend ten dollar ten 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 bills. Ah, ah, a ten dollar ah, bill. A ten dollar bill. A ten dollar bill on Friday. Bill, singular. A ten dollar bill. Bill. On Saturday. You got it. What's the negative, Ada? Hi. Fernando is is today in another place. Yeah. I didn't uh, I have a ten dollar. Uh, I will. I want. I want. I will. Uh, okay. I, I want, want or I will not spend. Spend ten dollars. A ten dollars bill. A ten dollars bill. Okay. On Saturday. Okay. On what? Monday. Good. <laughs> I have to go. I have to go. What's the question? Go with the question. Okay. Tomen ventaja del tiempo, chicos. No pierdan el tiempo. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Negative. I would like to ask for a loan. Alguien Teacher, me, alguien me invocó. I did. We want to know if we're going, with this exercise, if we're going to ask every single... Tense. Tense. Uh -huh. No, no. It's, it's, up to, it's, to... it's up to you. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. So, for example, just a verb. One verb? No. One verb. 
Any verb, any verb. Um, think. <laughs> think. Uh, Johnny, how do you say, how do you say, um, analyzar? Uh, analyze. Mm -hmm. A word related, a word related to analyze. Um, and how do you say schema? Schema. 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 I don't know. Schema, right? Shim, shim, shim. or shim? Shim. Scheme. Scheme. Mm -hmm. Schema. Scheme. Scheme. Okay. And how do you use it? What's the um, grammar tense? Uh, simple present. Scheme. Schema. Schema. Analyze schema, simple present. No, 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 ya puedo abrir ventana. <laughs> Okay, keep going. Just select a verb and a word. Come on, Jenny. Okay. Remember, the simple present is just a, a subject, a verb, and complement. So, analyze Bad. schema. What's the subject? Oh, okay. Uh, let's start with, uh, Anna, I. I, the verb. I, on the, whatever verb. Analyze. I use whatever. No, I uh, analyze. The, I, I analyze the a, scheme. Okay. The scheme. Okay. I analyze the scheme of okay. the product. Of the product, good. Negative. I, uh, I don't. The skin of the flow. Correct. Question. Do. Do. What a subject. Do you. Do you, analyze? do I? Uh -huh. oh. Analyze. Very good. The skin of the product. You got it. So I analyze the scheme of the product. I don't analyze the scheme of the product. Do I analyze the scheme of the product? Simple. Got it? Now you, okay. now you go. Give a verb and a word to Haiti. Any verb, any word. And select. He gave a, it to me already. Let's ask oh, Roberto. Sandra. Uh, yes. Roberto is driving. Uh, Sandra? Okay. Are you with us? Don't worry, I'll send someone here. Give me one minute, let me see. Oh, it's okay, you can ask me any other one. <laughs> let's see, let me see who else could we move here. We got four here, okay. Hi, well. There she goes. <laughs> you see, I, ma I make people appear. <laughs> <laughs> I do magic. Okay, continue with Suleima, Johnny, and Haiti, okay. please. Thank you, Suleima, for joining this group. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Bird. I fell down. I fell down at the same step. Okay. I fell down with the same rock. Okay. How do you say escarbar? 
I don't know. I don't know. Climb. He's a red. He's a no escalar. Oh, okay, dig. Yeah. No, 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 dig. Dig. You remember the the 80s with Nintendo? Dig dog? No? No. Big Dog. It's a very old game. Okay. So, Big Dog Dog. Okay. In the present perfect. Scratch. 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 Do you say Escarbar? Scratch. Scratch. Dig. Dig. That's Cavar. Escarbar or Escarbar? Okay. Dig is Cavar. Dip. Dig. D-I-G. Dig. Okay. Escarbar. Scratch. Yeah. This is Scratch. 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 I guess this is scratch. Is a scratch. Scratch. Okay. Scratch. In this case, uh, the present perfect, the police need to scratch, but I don't know if the scratch is regular. Wait, that's not the, present perfect. That's present simple. The, but the scratch in this case is the process, the activity to put out the the land or something like that. Okay, police had scratched the land. Police has scratched the land. It's a, a regular verb. Yeah, it's a regular verb. Scratch, okay. scratched, scratched. Okay, police has scratched the land. Negative? I I have I I scratched the land. That's simple past. I scratched the land. Yeah. Okay. But the point is positive, negative question. So police has scratched the land. Police hasn't scratched the land. Has police scratched land? Has police scratched land? Positive, negative question. Okay, another mm. verb, another word. Remember, okay. how do you say? How do you say escalar in English? Fine. Climb, okay. How do you say montaña in English? Mountain. 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 Okay. Mountain. 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 Uh -huh. Mountain. Uh, that's difficult. Mountain. 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 It's like a mountain like in English. Mountain. Yeah, but without the time, it's mountain. 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 That's mountain. Like mountain. when you, you say okay. important. There, the same thing. Important. It's very important. Okay. The curtains. Hold on. Certain. Certain. Certain products. That's right. Same thing. Okay. So, mountain, climb, mountain, climb, mountain. Okay. Uh, let's use past progressive. Past continuous. Past continuous. I was. I was, I was climbing, 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 the, climbing the mountain. I was climbing the mountain. Hand. Negative for, for what? For uh -huh. Five hours. For five hours. Very good. I was climbing the mountain for five hours. Negative. I was driving. Uh, same se uh, yes, same sentence. Climbing. Same sentence. I was okay. driving. I was climbing. I wasn't the climbing mountain for five hours. 
question, Erwin, question. Okay. Same sentence. What were you claim? Uh -uh. Was I? Was, was you claim yesterday? Oh, okay. Was you climbing yesterday? Sorry. Hold on, hold on. Listen, I was climbing the mountain for five hours. I wasn't climbing the mountain for five hours. Was I climbing the mountain for five hours? Remember, I, he, she, it, was. You yes. with a, where? Well, yes. I, he, she, it, was. You with a, where? And it's always was or where. ING. Okay. Don't Were forget. Were you climbing that. yesterday? Were you climbing yesterday? Yesterday, yes. Well, yeah, very good. Where were you climbing? Where were you climbing yesterday? Was climbing in the mountain. Perfect. Got it. That's the point of this exercise to refresh what you are supposed to know up to now. Okay. You only have two more minutes. Hurry up. Okay. Okay. No door. Perdonar. How do you say in English? Perdonar. Okay, uh, to everyone, everyone can answer, or you will choose one. Which, uh, one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't remember. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Mm. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, Perdonar is forgive. Forgive. Forgive? Yeah. Forgive, yeah. Forgive. Mm -hmm. uh, can, can you say me uh, a sentence in the past <coughs> continuous? Past continuous. Yeah. I was forgiving my my decision, my bad decision. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Another. Um. Okay. How do you say English? Prestar. Rene. What? What? How do you say English? Prestar. Estar. Prestar. Prestar. Ah, prestar. Prestar. Ah, prestar. 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 Oh. Prestar. I, I think. <laughs> prestar. Yeah. Mm. No, I don't know. No, eh. Borrow? Bor no, no, borrow. No, no, borrow. No. Under, but I'll start, no. Borrow. Mm, is no let or borrow the way that I want to borrow? Uh -huh. borrow? Uh, similar, yeah, but it, the, 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 for, yeah, there are the both, but, the format is let. Let, okay. Let, uh, okay, you give me uh, a, 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 a simple pass, a sentence form, please. Use uh, a let. Okay. Um, I left I... money to you last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the bus is left, right? We see. Yeah. Lent. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lent. Uh, and the at the end, yes. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Another Lent. Lent. Uh, says in Spanish. What is it? 
Uh, teacher is coming. Teacher, we have a little issue right now. What's up? The, the past participle of did. Build. Build. No, did. Pusear. Oh, dive. Dive. Uh, dive, sorry. Dive. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's like... Mm -hmm. oh. I have my doubts, too. There is a good is dictionary. Regular or, or irregular? Let's find out. I think it's irregular. Oh, don't say good. Don't. Like, no, no, no. No, you cannot no. use Google no. to, to find a conjugation okay. of a verb. You need to use reverso. Hold on the reverso website i'll send it to you because it's very useful oh i haven't done it yet ah, okay. there it is okay it's a dive right dive yes. dive dived is regular it is regular dived. Verb. so dived 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 Played. diving dived okay. diving Okay. It's a regular, okay. It is a regular verb, yes. Dive. Dive. Okay, yes. Dive. I don't know how I haven't sent you this before. I think there was a goal from El Salvador. My neighbor is bursting fireworks. Really? Ooh. Maybe here in nobody's watching because I, I didn't hear anything. And my dog just came inside the room running like crazy. He dropped something. <laughs> but but is is gold for El Salvador or Panama? I guess because it's burst in fireworks. So uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I send you the okay. link to the WhatsApp. Let me check. Okay. Okay. Uh, in this link is about dive. That's very small. Dive. Error reverse component. Uh, okay so if you notice this exercise is very useful it's something you can do every day every day practice your grammar tenses okay let's go back we have a lot to cover okay Sorry, I'm having dinner right now. Okay. So I was telling some of you, this is something you can use every day to practice your grammar sentences, okay? Your grammar tenses. <clears throat> because at this point, <clears throat> I'm sorry, at this point, you have a lot of grammar. You have a lot of grammar to study. So how do you do it? Number one, organize your time. How? Well, be realistic, be realistic. Listen, if you don't know about this, Google it. Go to go to Google and look for SMART goals. Haiti, are you familiar with SMART goals? I think so, right? SMART, okay? Yeah. Google it, SMART goals, what are they about? Okay, put a date, be realistic. Put time, and you know that, that's very important. Timing. <laughs> okay, so what? What? This is an an acronym. It's an acronym. Um, the S stands for specific. 
be specific. What do you want to reach? <laughs> specific, measurable. The M stands for mm -hmm. measurable. How can you measure if you're doing good with your English? Record yourself, okay? Attainable. Be realistic, make sure you can reach that goal on your reality. Okay, I, I don't have time. Okay, I can only study after the class from 10 to 11 or 11 to 12 midnight and then go to bed one hour. Okay, that's realistic. I'll try, give it a try. Okay, and that's the R, right? That's the, what the R stands for. R, R, R stands for relevant. 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 Oh, mm -hmm. it has to be something really um, relevant for your life. You know that it's going to change your life. If it is, you know, something, whatever, it's not going to work. And the T is the most important from my, in my time. opinion. Okay. The T stands for time bound time bound it has to be tied to time if you don't put a date on something you will never reach it for sure okay how do you do this repeat every day for example me i wanted the six pack so i started repeating to myself um let me see i rafael rodriguez wait 170 pounds by December 16th, 2016. I, Rafael Rodriguez, weight 170 pounds by December 16th, 2016, and I'm very happy. Did I get the six pack? No, <laughs> but I went down 40 pounds in four months, 40 pounds in four months. How did I do it? I don't know. I don't know. I just started repeating, repeating every day, every morning, every morning that I wanted to be underweight. And suddenly I noticed, I noticed I stopped eating. I started walking everywhere I went, you know, just walking instead of taking the bus, just walk. That helped. Okay. So the same thing happens with you. Be realistic, organize your time, be disciplined. Discipline, what is discipline? Is to do what you have to do when you have to do it. Even if you don't want to do it, do what you if have you to want. do. When you have to do it, whether you feel like doing it or not, just do it. That's discipline. Okay. So Monday, simple present. Tuesday, simple past. Wednesday, future. Thursday, present perfect. And so on. Just organize a table, you know, a book. Have a, have a notebook for doing this every day. Okay. Quickly, let's close yesterday's topic uh, for once before we jump into unit two. Cycle, guys. One second. There's a lot of noise on the background. Houston, Houston, Houston. Teacher. Go ahead, Heidi. Turn on your microphone. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I just wanted to ask you about the platform. If there's any mistake or, or, or maybe we're wrong with the answers. Do you know, I really try to understand you because I was really busy today. I, try, I really try to understand which exercise is it, you know, the one that is giving you problems. Let me show you. Homework 1.5. It was 1.5, right? Uh-huh. Exercise yeah, because... number two and number five. Some of you were saying like, hey, exercise one, exercise five, but the platform goes from 1.2, 1.4 or something like that. Let me see. It's that the same question becomes, comes after and, and, and the next, next homework, it was okay. So I, I tried to copy those answers that were right and copy them in, in homework number 1.5 and it didn't work. Okay, homework 1.5. Question number five. Number number. Number two. Number, number, two, five. number five. Number five. Sell or product many distributors at a lower price will rather much. Many mm -hmm. distributors will much rather sell or product at a lower price. Period. Capital letter. 
the end, end. capital the, letter, the, the period at the end. Is at a letter A, the number three. Teacher, teacher. Let me project this to you. Go ahead. Teacher. Yes, Erwin. Uh, repeat it slowly, please. I want to show the, 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 the homework. I can do it. Don't worry. Check. This is homework 1.5. Right? So yes. You're, you're asking me, guys, about number two, right? Yes, the number two. I can do it. You see? Yes. Many distributors will much rather sell our product at a lower price. Teacher, in this case, change the order much. that they yeah. Yes. Would rather much. Yes. The answer yes. is incorrect. Yes. Yes. That's why. You totally got it. Okay. You totally got that point. And you said number five, right? Many more companies will rather become the low cost provider of a product with, with a great caution about war prices. We did this on the class actually. I'm sorry. Okay, so were those your questions, number two and number five? Aquí están las dudas, yes? Of a product yes. in the... Uh -huh. Just 1.5, that's it? Yes. Take a screenshot. Okay. <laughs> I did. Okay. You did already, okay. What's the yeah. other one? Yes. That's it? That's the only problem you had? Yeah. Yeah, yes. in my case, that's yes. it. Okay, hey, just for the future, guys, tell me, teacher, exercise 1.1, exercise 1.3, 1.5, 1.7, or 1.8, 2.1, and et cetera, right? Okay, that's the way the, the website, uh, the platform is designed. If you tell me exercise three, I will go crazy looking for a number three on that. Okay, <laughs> so let's finish this topic, the product life cycle, before we move on to unit two. Yesterday, we said the following strategies to handle the decline stage. We talked about lower prices, okay? Discount pricing strategy. This has to do a little bit with the next topic, okay? Is a marketing campaign? No, in this context, you're trying to save your product. Remember, innovation, new idea, creative thoughts on what to do with the product, right? What to improve on the product, re-engineering the product. Repackaging, make the product more appealing for customers, you are saying. Discontinuation is the nightmare of every product. Stop manufacturing the product, remove it from the market. That's the last thing you really want to do. Now, co-branding. Marketing, marketing of a product under two or more brand names. Okay. Um, Irwin was giving me an idea yesterday about selling, for example, if you're selling already a product under X name, you know, you can co-brand your product, put your brand into another product similar to the one you're selling. So I don't know if you're selling, give me ideas. If you're selling, oh my God, I don't know. If you're selling chori panes, for example, choris, Right? Don't you think that Choris could use their own label on Coca Cola cans? Chori Coke? Oh my God, a Chori Coke. How does that sound? Okay. Chori with Coke, but a Chori Coke. Not Coca Cola, a Chori Coke. Wow. Okay. Huh? That could be co-branding. Of course, you need the permission of the owner of that product, right? Tell the idea to the owner of the choripanes. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, I, I was saw... thinking on, on choripanes and I was thinking on our credit cards. 
with with co-brand. <gasps> Once we got with Uno, with Selectos, with Avianca. You do, that's right? That's branding product. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's called branding. Perfect example, the Chori card. <laughs> Get points. Hey, I, I sold an idea to um, um, a class, you know, um, a student once. He loved making pieces for his family. But I told him, why don't you try making, I don't know, chorizo pizza, you know, eggs, just eggs, you know, scramble eggs, a pizza of scramble eggs with a lot of cheese. I mean, he was like, oh my God, it's true. And he did it. We even thought about the name. I gave him the name because he wanted spicy things. I can remember the name, the bully, the bully pizza, bully pizza. You know, that was a crazy idea and he did it. But locally on his neighborhood and he's selling very well. So there's always ways to improve your ideas, okay? To improve your products with better ideas. I think we're clear on this stage now. I had a last step for the product life cycle, but I want you to think. I want your brain to start thinking out of the box. So if we look at this context of whole, the whole COVID-19, you need, let's select one of the following products on its decline stage. All of these products that you're about to see are on the decline stage due to the whole COVID-19 pandemic. So let's discuss possible strategies your team could implement and the advantages it would bring to the company. So first, shoes. What's wrong with the shoes? COVID-19, nobody's going out. We're all under quarantine. Mm -hmm. What strategy can you use? The shoes are going down. Mm -hmm. Discount. Discount. Yeah. Lower the prices? Lower the prices. Lower the prices, yes. How will, how will this affect? The sales. The you sales think, teacher. Do you think sales will increase if you lower the yes. price? Yes. Not the price, the sell. Because the people can buy anything. No, no, no. Uh, listen, so we're on the decline stage. You lower the prices to save the shoes. Not the price, never the price, only because <clears throat> we don't have a customer. No, no, no. Okay, let me put this in context, Erwin. Remember, we are looking at the five different strategies that you can used to handle the decline of the product. You can lower the price, innovate, change the product, repackage the product, or definitely discontinue it, or find a way of co-branding the product, right? So talking about shoes with the context of COVID, nobody's wearing shoes. Do you wear shoes during quarantine or were you in sandals all the time? Never, never person think about the shoes. Never person think about the shoes. Mm -hmm. Only when the necessity. When they go out, right? So, okay. So for, for example, in my case, mm -hmm. with the COVID, I sell battery. I sold the battery. Because mm. it, it, yes, this is a, was a necessity, the customer. I sold because I I called with the I called the the government and the government told me that I can sell. I could sell. And you could sell. Yes. Okay, good example. So shoes, shoes. Let's go with another one. Uber during COVID nineteen. What strategy would you have used? during the whole pandemic, the quarantine, you know, nobody's going out and you have an Uber. What strategy can you use? A lot of them, a um, lot of them, what they did was that they uh, used to go to do shopping at the supermarket and then deliver. So what is that? Innovative. Innovation. Innovation. Yes. Yeah. Got it. Thank you, Heidi. What else did they do? They modify the vehicles, right? They put some 
sort of courting in the middle, right? And you could only sit on the back. There you had the alcohol, alcohol hell, alcohol hell, alcohol hell. Um, you used to have other things on the back. Innovation. Very good. Okay. Furniture. What's wrong with furniture sales during COVID-19? Who wants to buy furniture? Or is it a necessity? As Erwin was, was saying. Think, think. Nobody's going out. What do you do with furniture sales? Lower the price, innovate, co branding. Lower the price. That's the only one they can do and deliver the product also. Delivery. Yes, you can deliver the product, right? That's part of innovation, innovating your distribution channels. Your distribution channels must be updated. That's something that everybody, every commerce did, every merchant did. Cookies. What's wrong with cookies during COVID-19? <laughs> Was that a main necessity? No. No. Okay. Were you buying Create. cookies? Yeah. Create desire. Create the necessity. Yes, it's a strategy in the marketing. How do you create a necessity? Mm. Co-branding. Uh, sorry? Co-branding. Yes, and... Um, With what? With coffee. Coffee? With soda. Soda. Yeah. Um, what? Cookies with soda? No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> For the kids, yeah, my kids, my kids. Cookie, yeah. cookie with cookie. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> my kids combine cookies or or bakery, you know, pastry. I'm sorry, pastry with fresco de Jamaica with horchata. I'm like, what are you doing, right? Please don't do that. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> That's not nice. Really okay. Delicious. Hey. COVID-19, everybody's in quarantine. Everybody's in quarantine. Fries. You're selling fries on the street. What do you do? Can you lower the price and that's it? Would you innovate on price? Uh, innovate. On price? How? I, I, I know that our old friend that they they bought uh, burgers and they create a, a social media account mm. and they they uh, they had publicity in that page so how did they innovate uh, he he get alliance with uh, deliveries he got alliance. He, he got, got alliance. Alli aligned with deliveries. And the day he he got uh, what's it? Say? He got repetido request or he got more orders. More, more orders and mm -hmm. they they uh, they sent the the that orders with the delivery service. These orders with the delivery service. You know what I will have done. You know what I will have done. Innovate, change the fries, taste, put, uh, how do you call this type of chili that they're selling out? Chahin or what tahin. is it? Tahin, right? Tahin. Mm -hmm. Put tahin on the fries, you know, change the, offer different types, you know, with cheese, with white, with brown, with, I'm sorry, with yellow cheese, whatever they have to do, just innovate on the product. Marketing, yes. Go on Facebook. No siento. Distribution channel, of course. What about clothing? Nobody needed clothing during the whole pandemic, during the quarantine. Repackaging, innovation, lower prices, co-branding. I'm missing one. Oh. 
Discontinue. Discontinue, right? But we don't want to discontinue. So what, what do you do with clothing? You're selling clothes. What did Hennessy's do? What did they do? A face mask, maybe make face masks. You know what? My wife on her company, they produce underwear, right? So they had to diversificate their product. Listen, they, they made a, a diversification. You know, they came up with another line and they started manufacturing, just like Erwin said, for the government. Masks, suits, okay? Uh, biohazard suits and so many other things. Whatever they could do, sewing, they did. Because the, the orders, as Fernando said, the orders stopped. Nobody wanted to buy calzones and bloom and, and brass, right? Underwear, no, thank you, right? So you have to change, innovate. Candies during COVID-19, hmm. Candies, maybe for the cough, not sweeties, and so on, guys. And that's it. That was it about product life cycle. Now, the next topic, it's on unit two. Before that, sorry if I have to move. Um, let me do the attendance. It's 907 already. Before we go to the next topic, Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Andres, Gio thank you. Andres Giovanni <laughs> Valdivieso Portillo. Andres is here. I saw him somewhere. Elvin Arcides Aguizabal Martinez. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Eh, present, sir. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, teacher. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Josue Alberto Salas Benitez. Present. Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Aguilar. I'm sorry, Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Werner Mauricio Reyes Ángel. Present teacher. William Alexander Rivas Flores. I'm sorry. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. I need class. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abreu Orizuela. Alan is not with us today. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Irene Azucena Cuellera Albanes. Uh -huh. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez. Iván, Iván is not here. Okay. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. And Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher. Oh, there you are. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's jump into the hood. Let's jump into the next topic. So let's go for it. Yeah. Okay, I just need to modify something on this presentation, but let's start with the startup question. This is on page. I can't remember, page 17, page 17 of your book. Okay. So let's start. What do customers want from, you can, pueden corregir su libro, it's a form, it's from a service or product. <laughs> okay. What do customers want from a service or product? How is the product you sell different to the products of your competition? Now, look at this. This unit, this unit is for you to be able 
to identify the main elements of the marketing mix of a renowned national product or service. So we're, we're gonna go through different products, identifying how, why are they renowned? Do you understand renowned? No? No. Okay. Just known products. Okay. Renowned. Rename? Renamed. Huh? Everybody, it's, it's on everybody's mouth. Everybody talks about that product, okay? That's the whole point. So let's talk about the marketing mix. And yes, this unit has to do with marketing essentially. But the startup questions, um, the startup questions are those. What do customers want from a service or product? And how is the product you sell different to the products of your competition? Some said you don't have competitors. Hey, you do have competitors. No matter what you sell in this world, there's always someone else doing what you do in a different way with less quality or better quality. Okay, but there's always a competitor. Okay, so, but first of all, what do customers want from a service or product? What do you want from a service or a product? The satisfaction of your needs. Perfect, satisfaction of needs. Okay. In your own words, examples. High quality. High quality. Okay. Good price. Good price. <laughs> Someone honest. To be honest. <laughs> Someone honest. <laughs> yeah, we, we are poor. So the first thing we look at is the price, right? Uh, quality. Okay, will you sacrifice quality for price? Mm -mm. Sometimes, no. sometimes you have to. <laughs> There's no other way. Depends on it. It depends on your own need. It depends on the kind of product. Yes. Okay. So, but in the end, as Heidi said, you want to satisfy a need. Very good. Now, do you sell a product? Do you sell a service? How is your service or your product different from the products or services of your competitors? So in your group, talk about these two topics. Just make the question, have a conversation. Remember, you're here to speak in English. I want to hear Spanish on your groups. Let's go with these two questions. Just five minutes. We're going to fly through the topics tonight. Okay, we have to cover the four P's of the marketing mix. That's the topic for today. Got it? Got it. Okay, let's go. Okay. Accept the invitation. Let's go. Send me, send me invitation, please, teacher. Really? Irvin? Yeah. Uh, sorry, Elvin, no, Irwin. Yeah. Elvin, yeah. Elvin, where are you? There you are. I did. Um, number four. Okay. Vas a recibir dos invitaciones, Elvin, permítame. Okay. Okay, there you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. What do customers want from a service or a or product? Uh, good service, good presentation. In my case, I don't know because because in my company produce energy. <laughs> I think the, the, the customer want the energy to be cheaper, for example. <laughs> Let's see. In my case is a good support because, because it is an insurance. When you are an accident, they want, the people want they, they resolve really fast. Yeah. When people 
Oh, wait. When people have an accident, when people suffer. What, where accident. do you work? Uh, insurance. You work for, a, for insurance company. Insurance, insurance company. company. Yes. For, really? an, for an insurance company. For mm -hmm. an insurance company? Really? Where do you work? Um, it's state truth. State truth. State truth. Oh. State, yeah, state a, trust. I have a... I have a friends in this company, Oscar Cortez. Do you know? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Okay. In your case, Erwin. Hi, how are you? What about you? Wait, but, continue. What the what customers the, what, what the, the customers customer want for a service or product in your company? Okay, let's I, talk about batteries. Let's talk you about have a lot of experience insurance. with your own business. It's, it's so difficult because the customer want to want to be to have a good price, good service, and good product. And I try to do it this one. But the most important in all company, you have to have you have to have so control with the customer. What to know that if the customer is good with you with your company, with yeah. all with your business. Yeah. It's, it's really for example in, in, in the insurance company, I, I work for insurance company too, <laughs> Yuri. Oh, really good. Well, yeah. Thanks, uh, in this case, for example, if you give if you give to the agent in incentive, the agent the agent I don't know if it's correct. Uh, agent have more mm -hmm. more customers for your company. For example, in the insurance company, the agents are very important because because he, they help you for more, more clients and for end more money. Yeah. Yes, the reputation in that kind of business is really important. Yeah. Because if you don't have a good service, uh, you don't have a good support when the uh, when you most re respond at the clients, uh, you are going to lose a lot of customers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, how is how? How is the product you sell different to products of your comp competition? The second question. How is the product you sell different to, to the product of your competition? For example, in my case, in, 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 the, in the company, uh, the energy cheaper. It's different. For example, Del Sur is, is more expensive. Caes is more expensive. And La Geo is cheaper. This is the difference between companies. You, are you working in La Geo? Yeah, I, I am. I am. Uh, I, I, I work in for the safe assessors, you know? And I am mm. outsourcing, outsourcing in, in a hill because mm. I have yeah. I have the account, all accounts for insurance. Uh, volcano energy. This is famous now. <laughs> yeah, very famous. But uh, because it's cheaper, very cheaper the energy that La Geo produces. But what is the problem that the energy, that kind of energy has? Because many people say that they can distribute that kind of energy to other places. The children is more is more empathy. <laughs> yes. Wait, children yes. are children are more empathetic. Children are sorry. Children are more empathetic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Children are mine. 
Rita, uh, what products, well, Ada sells or works for health services, right? What do customers want from, from surgeries? The mm -hmm. bad teacher. <laughs> Depends. No, they just want to be alive. Yeah, to they feel better. To feel better, yeah, not, not to die on the surgery. <laughs> Please. Okay, expectations of your customers. Now, Ada, what makes the surgeries at your hospital or clinic better than the ones in public, uh, the public uh, chamber? Uh, hold on, the public. Oh my God, ministry, the public ministry or other clinics. I mean, why is your service better than the others? Are you more efficient, low prices? What is it that makes it different from the competitors? The years of experience? Yes. <laughs> Paying in yes. Okay. Um, yeah, in your case, Haiti, oh my God. A bank. Why is your bank better than the competitors? How is your product different from your competitors? Talking about banks, the products are very similar. The rates, um, the difference between our rates is not big difference. Mm -hmm. Uh, the difference is the service, you know, really, Definitely. because the rates is not big difference. But when you talk about rates, do you mean charges, administrative charges, things like that? Rates are, are tasas de interés. Right, interest, the interest, rate. interest rates, mm -hmm. right, right. It's different, right? It's not a price, it's something that you charge. Although, hold on, let me think. I have never been charged by Cuscatlan on my credit card. So strange, we got a lot of charges. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I said so strange, we got a lot of charges. <laughs> a lot of charges, yeah, but uh, Agricola, I do, I also, I have never been charged um, additional for removing or for withdrawing money from the ATM or things like that. Of course, yes. If I run behind a payment on the credit card, I will get charged. But yeah, you will only see the difference on 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 rates. My card, for example, with Aricola is thirty six percent. That's the rate. But with Cuscatlan is like sixteen percent, I think. No, nine percent. That's the current interest we have. And we can negotiate. Or That's another different uh, um, from our bank from the others that we are able to negotiate. Yeah, we have done a lot of things with, with your bank. It's amazing. Very good. Uh, Wendy, where do you work? Well, I work in Fruit of the Loom. Fruit of the Loom. Yeah, I am a psychology, the, the, the company. And maybe in my company, um, we have different the other companies because we are com committed, comprometed, com committed, committed uh -huh, to respect for employees and the work environment. The work and, environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we have is different in other companies because the people is more uh, com comprometed. Not, compromise uh, more committed compromise and uh, we uh, guarantee the the quality the high quality in their product of the product yeah okay yeah i mean and uh, your company is a very renowned product um as well hades um Ada, the name of your brand the name of your company is it renowned everybody knows about it yes sucha Mm -hmm. So that's the point. Okay, Alexander and Jocelyn are so quiet. Sleeping maybe, I don't know. Okay, let's go back. No, this I am not sleeping. <laughs> Maria, uh, the connection is... Uh, I'm resting. Poor. Yeah, you're like my wife when she goes to bed and, and she's like, and I go like, are you asleep? You slept? I just slept and she's like, no, I'm, I'm resting my eyes. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Let's go back. Okie dokie. Let's keep going. So that was good. I mean, um, it's clear what your customers want of a product or service, specifically about yours. Let's talk about a little conversation. It's on your page. Let's pay attention and um, to this conversation among two people, okay? Then we will practice it just for a few minutes. Let me know if you don't understand a word out of this. So let's start with the most important, the most important part of the interview. Made a mistake, Ray. Hold on. So again, let's start with the most important, important part of the interview. Here's the first question. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that warranty the success of the marketing mix? What are the key elements that warranty the success of the marketing mix? Diana says, I think you have to get your market. I'm sorry, I think you have to target your market. I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to. And you need to figure out what they want. You need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, if you don't do this, your business will inevitably, inevitably fail. Your business will inevitably, inevitably, inevitably fail. Okay, that's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four P's. Now, second question, how will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Uh oh, mm -hmm. questions? Teacher, so target uh, target market would be like segment of a team. Niche of market, correct. Niche of market. Yeah, target, remember, is like aiming, pointing mm -hmm. at something, yes. Target your market. If you, you're clear what's going to be your market, you're done, you're set. Mm -hmm. We'll get into that. We will get deep into this for now. Okay, guys. Uh huh. Any other? Plainly, teacher. Plainly. Plainly. Can somebody give me plainly. synonyms for plainly? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Don't you forget about me. What was the name of that band? Simple, Simple Minds. It's not from our time. <laughs> oh, come on, really? <laughs> no. Okay, well, to put it in simple words, Johnny, plainly, simple words. To be, um, in my own words, you know, it's simple, plainly, in short. To make it clearer, that's the point. Yeah, Jenny? 
to make it clear, yeah. mm -hmm. the marketing oh. mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time. Any questions? Any other? Guarantee. No? That's it? Okay. Inevitably. 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 Will inevitably fail. You got it, right? Inevitably, inevitably is very similar to Spanish. See, right? Inevitably. Inevi inevitably. That's right. Your business will be inevitably fail. Okay. So let's go in small, very small groups. Repeat, repeat, repeat as many times as you can before we return to the main room, okay? Let's see, we are 23. We are 23 right now, so everybody must join. Por favor, no se queden aquí pajareando. Let's join our groups para que no se quede solo nadie ahí, okay? Come on, let's go. Vamos, come on. Everybody, let's go. Manos a la obra. Una sola maniobra. Let's go. Werner, Alexander, Juan. There you go, Juan, Alexander, let's go. I'm going to be team. And let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the two elements that guarantee the success of marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. That is, you must define who you are selling to. And you need to fig figure it out what they want. If you, if you don't do this, your business will inevitably fall. Um, that's why target your market and be sure to understand that for peace. Now, second question. How will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it uh, plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and the uh, right price. To the, with this world, you need to know every aspect on your business plan. Peter, the very okay. good. Articulate, articulate every time. Okay, very good. Keep going. Who's next? Heidi? Maybe I did. You can okay. remember what did I do for you? Teacher, how did you pronounce the word inevitably? Inevitablemente. How do you pronounce the word? Innovatively. Oh, innovatively. 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 fail. Okay. Fail. 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 Innovatively fail. Okay. Please continue. Sing. Erwin or Rene? Okay. Team, okay. Okay, you are team okay. now. Yeah. Okay, I will begin. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. <clears throat> Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the success of the marketing mix. I think you have to target the market that is you must define what you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will never be defined. That's right, target your market and be sure to the understand the form. Is now the second question How 
would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plain, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place on time with the right promotion and at the right price to do, to do it with well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Plan. Okay, perfect. Continue. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes, I will be Tim and you will be Diana. Let's okay. start with the most important part of the inner. In a bit later, ah, but the teacher is coming. In a yeah. Inevitably. 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 Okay. You are team Elvin and Luis. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's start with the most important part of the interview. There's uh, the first question. What are the case elements that guarantee to, to, uh, the success of market mix, mix? I think you have to start. No, I think you have to target your market. That is, you most define who you are selling to and you need to figure out what they want if you don't this your business will inability file that's right target your market and be sure to understand the four pc now second question how would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and, and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Okay. Okay, I am team one more time. Okay, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here's the first question. What are the key, the key or key? Let's start, let's start with the most important part of the interview. Here is the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee, guarantee the success of marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. Your market. That is, you must define, define. Define, define who you are selling to. And you need to figure it. You need to figure out. To figure out, out what, figure out what they want. You need to figure out what they want. Okay. You need the figure out what, I'm sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. you, need... you need to figure out, out what they want. Mm -hmm. If you don't do this, your business will inevitable fail. Fail, repeat, Ine fail. inevitably. 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 In, in, sorry. Inevitably. Inevitably. There you go. Inevitably. Fail. Fail. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Welcome. That's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four PS. Now, second. Oh, PS. I'm sorry. PS. Um, now, second question. How will you define the marketing mix? Well, to put in plainly, plainly, the market mix mix is about pouring, putting the right product 
in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need to know every aspect in your business plan. Good, Good job. Okay, let's get going. So we saw the reading already. Um, thank you for the ones that were practicing. It's very nice. Let's discuss uh, the answers to the questions. What does target your market mean? What does it mean, target your market? You have to the to, yes, to to this to define who who is your your niche of market. Who uh, or where is your niche of market, right? Define who are you who you are selling to. Who you are you selling, selling to? Okay. Who who are your consumers? Your customers. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. What does each of the four P's stand for? Price. Price. Product, product, product promotion, promotion, and place, and place, and price. price, product, promotion, price. place, place. We'll see the order. We'll see the order in a minute. Okay. How will you describe the term marketing mix? Right, price, product, and price prices. Or in the right product, in the right place, in time. <laughs> yeah, put in the right product at the right place, the right price, right? With the pri the right promotion at the right time. As Jury said, I think, Jury. Okay, perfect. That's it. That's it. That's the marketing mix. Now let's organize this together. Read it. I'll give you a minute and we will do it together. This is on your book, I believe, page 17. Correct me if I'm wrong. 18. 18. Thank you. OK. William, what do you think? Product? Product. Price. Uh, the market merchandise or service offered by a company to its customers. Repeat, merchandise. Merchandise. Okay, the merchandise oh, or services. Okay, okay. Of, the merchandise or services. Offered, offered, offered very good. Mm -hmm. Continue, by. By a company to its customers. Yeah, do we all agree? Do you agree, Aaron? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good. What's yes. number two, Irene? The amount of money paid by customer to purchase the product. Good money. Huh? The amount of money paid by the cu by customers to purchase the product. Do we all agree? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. What's number three? Three, Elvin. I'm watching the game. <laughs> um, price. Uh huh. Uh, the merchandise or server offered by company to its customer. Mm. 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 <laughs> okay, uh -huh. <laughs> Caroline. Show him. What is the price? I mean, the place. Place number three. Price. Place. Oh. Place. 
the activities that communicate mm -hmm. the products, features, and benefits that helps persuade customers to purchase of the product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, 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 sorry. The activities that make the product available to customers. Uh -huh. Okay. Do we all agree? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay, so that's the place, and of course, this is number four. So number four is the activities that communicate the product features and benefits that help persuade persuade the customers to purchase the product. Say so that's a promotion, and it communicates the product features. So let's go one by one really quick. Uh, number one, we are talking about a product. You know what is a product you need to number two the price of course how do you define the price remember the amount paid the amount of money of money paid Pay by but how do you define the price of your new product uh, about the cost. the cost based on the cost and benefit profit, mm, profit. What's your profit goal, right, Heidi? I don't know if, if you guys work with this, but how do you set the price of a product based on the cost and the profit? But there's another there's another factor we, we will study, and it has to do with marketing. How do you define the price, cost, margin that you want to make, the desirable margin? But there's another thing. You conduct a, and it's part of the of the feasibility study. Do you remember the feasibility study? That's the SUE factibilidad, right? So you have to study the market. Remember, what's the price on the market for this product? If there is a similar product, okay. So price, place, place. The activities that make the product available to cost to consumers. Question: Do you understand my place, the location, the physical location, the facilities in which in which you will sell the product? Like a shelter. Shelter, a house, a building. Yeah. Do you consider that a place or can a place be, I don't know, anywhere? No. No? Thing. You need to be selected properly. Okay, can you move the place of sale? That's what I'm trying to ask. Okay, forget about the game for a minute, everybody. Okay. Yes, guys, you can move your place. You can have a mobile, you know, a motored um, local, let's say, a motored uh, cell of point, a, mo a local, a, mo a motored sales point, and be around, you know, you can go to Les Calon and sell the product. You can go downtown and sell the product everywhere you want just to sell your product. That could be um, a place. It's not in a specific place. About the promotion, uh, number four, the activities that communicate the product's features and benefits that help persuade, persuade customers to purchase the product. A promotion is very clear. You have heard many different types of promotions, but in the end, the main goal is persuade a customer to get the product, tell the benefits, tell the benefits, the comparison of prices with the competitors, if there's there are competitors. Now, in essence, what are we talking about here with the four Ps? Okay, look at this chart that I took from a video. Um, so product, price, promotion, place. Regarding product, you have to consider quality, packaging, packaging, design, design, and brand. 
Okay, all of that is related to product. Regarding price, is it a retail price? Or is your own price? Did you set the price or is it a retail price? Payment plans, payment plans. Okay, I love something with, with Bank Cuscatlan. Uh, and is that you can pay in quotas, you know, you can make down payments, monthly payments without interest. I love the, that feature of my, of my credit card. I'm about to buy another computer and yes, 24 months, 24 months, no interest. It's just the same payment for 12 months. Awesome. Okay. So that's a, pay, a payment plan. Discounts, yes, you can get discounts with your card. You can get discounts on many products, right? Cre credit terms. What do you understand by credit terms? Can somebody explain me the credit terms? Credit terms of what, teacher? What are credit terms? The closures of a contract, the time, the, contract, yeah. the interest, all, all like that. A field. the warranties, warranties. Okay, the credit term. So, starting off with the word credit, it means that you will not pay everything right now, right? You will be paying monthly, okay, an amount of money. A fee. Terms. Um, not a fee. That's not a fee. A fee can be calculated on top of on top of your monthly payment. For example, if you pay late, there is a fee. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That that's the penalty, let's say, or so. Or it could be an additional charge of the price that you're paying. Uh, okay. Credit terms. It could include the 90 days, the 60 days in El Salvador, 30, 60, 90 days. Those are what? Credit plans, right? Okay. Now, promotion, marketing, advertising, public relations. What is public relations? I got on the tip of my tongue. Haiti. You know it. Public relations. Mm -hmm. This is different from marketing, right? Yeah, it's uh, it, it's who drives you your your brand, your image. Perfect. It's who drives your image to the public. Mm -hmm. To the public. It's not a specifically. It has to do with marketing, but how you sell your the image of your company to the it public takes care of the mar of the image of the of the brand correct the brand the products the the company excellent okay personal selling personal selling in promotions okay and emails all of these are options that you may have available okay place as we said a retail location are you going to have retailers selling your product and you will just distribute the product and everybody's going to sell it for you? Of course, they get their commission, you get your price, okay? Delivery options, downloads, if it is a program, Fernando, if it is a, an app, what, what teacher, what goal? Okay, yeah, if it is an app, you can download it, right? Okay. So, in other words, the web websites are now the distribution channel of products. Did you know, you can find every app, you can find many things on the internet now, and that's a distribution channel for information, right? So, we're going to talk about this little by little, part by part, starting now on this oh, new unit. People. Do you have questions? Questions. Questions. No. No questions. No. Okay. Uh, we only have two minutes. 
I need to hear you explaining me what you understood about the class if we're clear on the four P's of the marketing mix. <laughs> Who is winning? See, uh, I, I don't have clear about the place. You're not, you're not clear about the place. Yes. Okay, look at this. It's a retail location. It says distribution channels, delivery or downloads. It's not a physical, it could, it could be not a physical place. Is the the is the medio? It's from yes. the medio. Yes, that's right. That's right. The route you select. By the way, Fernando, you're staying ten minutes. And I forgot. Oh, no, I'm watching the okay. game. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, yes, it's not a physical place. You could deliver your product. They can download Watch. it. You know. And the, oh, oh, what about? Storage. What a chain, Fernando. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other question? Are we clear? What the water? Okay. I have a question for you. In your own words, what is the marketing mix? Why do we call this the four P's of the marketing mix? Okay, nobody, you didn't get the idea. It's called a mix because you can play with these four elements. Correct. Okay. You can play with you can play with these four elements. Target your market, your niche of market, and introduce your product by the price, by a promotion, you know, or the place. All of these four qualities, let's say, of the marketing process, you can start by the promotion if you want. You can do marketing with the price whatever you want that's the way you introduce it to the market it's up to you there's an order yes there is an order but when it comes to marketing listen depending on the niche of market that's going to be your decision for example if you are going to sell pupusas in soyapango which is already saturated you want to sell pupusas in la 25 de what was the name? Las Margaritas. Okay, you want to sell pupusas in Las Margaritas. Okay. There's a lot of pupuserias. How do I know? Como no sé? Because I went there once, long time ago. There were a lot of pupuserias. So what do you do? I mean, do you go by price, by quality? What do you sell first to your customers? So I'll leave you with that thought. I'll leave you with that thought. Think about it tonight. Dream a little dream about me. Okay. Let's go, guys. I'm going to do the attendance and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm staying with Fernando tonight. Solo les ruego que mañana, por favor, tratemos de estar en silencio sin interrupciones de juegos o cosas. Okay. A la Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Good night. Good night. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Elvin Arcide Seguizabal Martinez. Present. Good night. Good night. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Present. Thank you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Good night, Jose. everybody. Good night. Jose Antonio Cubías Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Good night. Good night, Juan Francisco Enriquez González. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Jerry Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. And good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landaverde. 
Present. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. We, Werner Mauricio Reyes Angel. Present teacher, good night. Good night, William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Leima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present, teacher, good night. Good night. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinoza. Present. Good night. Iván Manuel Jerez Pérez, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present, good night, teacher. Good night, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Okay, okay. Get okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, Mr. Cosme, Mr. Cosme, Mr. Morales, how are you tonight? Fine. Fine. A little tired, but, but fine. Why are you tired? Uh, I I wake up every day at, at 5 a.m. I, I I used to I used to wake up at 7 a.m. when I I work in my old job. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I, I work for my house and I, I have to, and now I have to, to go to the office. So. <laughs> oh my God, it's a pain in the butt. Yes, it's a bit changed after a, a year. <laughs> and what time uh, do, you, do you start work? Uh, 7 a.m. As well, but now you have to drive to work on the high peak hour. Yes, in the morning is, is not a problem, but it, when I come, when I get home in the afternoon. So what time uh, do you finish work? Uh, five a.m. Five p.m. Five p.m. Okay. Uh, what time are you arriving home, typically? Uh, between six and six thirty p.m. Wow, it's gonna be really tired. Is it far away from your house, your job? Yes, I pr um eight miles, eight or 10 miles approximately. It's from like, like Don Rua, mm -hmm. San Salvador to Santa Elena. Holy mother of God. Have you thought about moving from Don Rua? Uh, I, currently I, I am renting that, that in this house and I get married in December with my wife. And Wait, we, you will get? I got, I got married. You got. I got okay. married in December and Sorry that, what, that was the, the reason for <laughs> for for moving to uh -huh. with, with her alone to this to this house and we are renting right now. But is it a nice place, nice neighborhood? Yes, it is. It's a, a nice place, but sometimes I had trouble to the parking because uh, we have only, we have to parking in a line only a line in the park in one line only in one line of the of the cars you the, the, the space is is very is limited limit limited and we have to to park in between two cars every day and with the limited space i have to take my time to to parking but in the <laughs> morning park. but in the morning nobody blocks your entrance. no uh, in and any in any time you you don't have problem to the block you have problem only for uh for when when you park it because uh you have to uh, sometimes to, 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 to the 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 neighbors sometimes the the day come on they hang let the, the cars more closer than another uh, day they, they, they leave they leave the car they, closer than another other other days and that is more difficult for me <laughs> wow yeah that's gonna be crazy i mean the first thing we we thought about with my wife when we moved was the parking 
parking space. And, and that that was like, you know, the main thing. And it's because we lived, we always lived in a, in a small place, you know, but. Yes, I, I hope that in, in the future we can. That's the carpet, that's, that's the garage, you know, there's uh, the entrance. It's got a space for three or four yes. cars, I think. Mm, that is a big space. Yeah, I in the future I I I would do I would to buy I would buy a I will buy uh, I will buy a, a house with a bigger space. house a bigger, a bigger house. house. Do you have kids yeah. right now? No, no. Okay. I, I, I don't have kids. Okay. And maybe in the future. <laughs> but you both work. No, uh currently Just... I um, I only only I, I work. Only I work. Only me. It's only me. Only me. It's only me. Only me. <laughs> Good. Okay. So, what have you been doing? Uh, work. I mean, for the English part of your life. Well, I I I watch series in English. I have to just to listen. I have to listen the the conversation. Sometimes I I listen uh, 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 words that when they, they, trans they translate the words, that there are different that I, I heard. I, I, I listen uh, English music. Music in English, I'm saying music yeah. in English. English, English music. English music. Yeah. Uh, but every day I, I read uh, all in English because we, in, in my work, the, all the programs, the applications, the documentation about program language, all, all are in, in English. Everything is in English. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Hmm. When you watch movies, because I, I'm listening to this a lot, many students, when I make the question, what are you doing, you know, to study English? They go like, oh, I'm watching series in English. I'm watching movies in English. I'm watching Netflix in English. And, and I go like, but you know, just thinking about it, your brain, your brain point, um, puts more attention, is more attentive to the images than the audio. Just, really, just it happens, you know, you get by it is the same in spanish está viendo algo y de repente las imágenes es más de acción es como ponemos atención a lo que está ocurriendo que lo que están diciendo it's normal it's normal same in spanish and in english so i don't know but if that's working for you anyhow to get vocabulary i, I know that i have to to be to be more disciplined with with that just i know uh, I only maybe I only have time with uh, 10, 10 p.m. to 12, 12 a.m. or only Saturday, for example. I have okay. to, to dedicate a, 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 a little time for for study. Yeah, this one hour. Hey, um, you know, we, they were looking for a JavaScript. Mm. I told you, right? JavaScript yes. position. You know how no, much uh, you, you told me about Java, no JavaScript. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, Java programming, yes, Java yes. language. They were paying twelve hundred dollars, one thousand two hundred, one thousand two hundred. Ah, okay. Is that okay? Mm, yes, for uh, middle, intermediate, middle? intermediate. But okay. it, if you are a senior Java developer, you you want to to get, if you want to get uh, one and one dollars, you can you can do it. Get easy, yes. If you wow. are a senior Java developer. But what what is a senior? I mean, how much time do you, does it take to be a senior? It's depend on the time you you have to to be to have the, the knowledge and experience and the time on this. It's that just... if you if you have five years in, in Java and you don't have the the the, the now experience or or ability for for set something or or doing doing something specific you you don't you don't you don't no, qualify you, for a you are in a, you are in a senior developer a senior. awesome good to know hey 
We're speaking in English. Finally. Okay. <laughs> Continue practicing. Watch the game. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.